Hi, thanks for joining me at Wilderness with Imani. I am at Onion Valley at the Kearsage Lakes Trailhead in uh, the Eastern Sierra. I'm gonna be, this is a very commonly used trail. It is, it goes to several locations like a lot of the trails. Um, a lot of people take it to the Kearsage Lakes, which is a longer hike. I'm going to a very short hike today. Thankfully with a very light pack. <laughs> I'm going to fire right up there and do some fishing and fire right out. Um, there's a, this is a great place to go if you have bad knees or you got a bad back and you're not sure about going backpacking. This is a really quick place you can go or you don't have a lot of time. Because the first lake you hit is Lake Gilbert. Not a lot of people camp there. Uh, it's only about, a, I think, a mile and a third in. And then about two miles in is Flower Lake has brook trout fishing, um, it's pretty good. And that's where I usually camp when I'm just doing a short, a short trip overnight and I have time to get a wilderness permit. And then above Flower Lake is Heart Lake. And that doesn't have such a defined trail. And it's got a really rocky shoreline that's hard to get around. And this is a campground that's right down at the trailhead. And you could totally just have a cooler full of steaks and good food and day hike up to Flower Lake or uh, there's a couple other lakes up here that you can go and fish and then come back down and kick back down here. There's a stream that runs uh, around here that you can fish. So you don't have to go backpacking here because if you're gonna if you're gonna do this if you're gonna do the long haul like to Kearsage uh, lakes or something like that you, then you then it's worth going and getting a wilderness permit but if you just want to have kind of the convenience and luxury of a, of a campground and a fire pit because you can't have fires up there when you're backpacking you could easily leave here in the morning go up fish all day come back down and have the comforts of of a air mattress <laughs> and a, and a camper however however it is you roll so but I, I would definitely recommend it in the off season because it looks like it's pretty full um, in the middle of July. So here's where the little switchbacks start. And it's not much. You know, it's a nice, beautiful trail. Huge peaks around us. And it's really nice. But look, it's really beautiful up here. You got that stark contrast of those sheer peaks and and I don't know if the camera can pick it up there's a lot of uh, look at those yellows it's beautiful All right. so I run into these two gentlemen um, they're, they camped at Flower Lake where I'm going today and they day hiked to Kearsage Lakes and you are sir? Michael from where? Uh, Corona, California. Oh, cool. And how was the hike to oh. Kearsage Lakes from Flower Lake? It was, it was, it was tough for, a, I'm a beginner, so it was pretty tough, nice. but it was fun. Fun, fun, yeah. good, good. Yeah. But, How'd you like it? Oh, uh, I loved it. It was a blast. It was work, like, like he said, but it was, uh, it was fun, you know? It's beautiful. You just look at everywhere and it's, it's all worth it. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Jamal. I'm from Placentia. Right on, right on. Yeah. Cool, so that's good, so it's good. Uh, they seem to do the smart thing by leaving the load down at Flower Lake and day hiking to Kearsage Lakes. That sounds like something even I could do. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing your experience no with me. No problem. Have a good one. Have a good one. So, here's the National Park boundary sign. So if you go five more miles on this trail, you drop down into, I believe it's Kings Canyon National Park. So, you just have to keep pushing on. I've only gone about a mile, <laughs> three quarters of a mile. <laughs> so, it was really cool to meet those guys though, because they're able to share some insight on what it's like to go a little farther than I'm going today. So, to give you an idea of how much work we're doing, there's the parking lot. <laughs> so, I've only been hiking for about 20 minutes and I'm getting up there. This is an interesting part of the trail. I'm about, I'd say I'm about a mile in. <laughs> but this is some 
really interesting views. If you're looking for that short hike, this gives you this gives you a lot of payoff quick. And for my second hike in a row, we're coming into the John Muir Wilderness Area. It's a designated wilderness area managed by the National Forest. It's really nice this year. There's so many waterfalls going. You still got some residual snow. Very beautiful. I'm here with Amani of Wilderness with Amani, and he wanted me to give you my experience of hiking up Onion Valley up to the, I don't even know how to say the name of it, the pass. We're going to, we're going to go to, I'm headed to Flower Lake and I'm not sure how far you are, your name is? Carrie Nikus, yeah. And where are you from? I'm from Santa Ana, California. And, and this is one version of uh, being outfitted she is for the... For, <laughs> she is ready for the sun, head to toe. And she is going <laughs> crazy right along at a good clip up this trail. And uh, I just want to say that they named me uh, Shade Chaser. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So, all right, what, take what, care. What, oh, let me grab this. What would you say to we're about a mile in? How would you say that this trail is for you? This trail is uh, challenging uh, just in regard to I, I walk really slow because I don't want to overdo it. And I was up here the, like three days ago, I got a little ways, and then yesterday we came up here, got a little more ways. We got to the sign so we could have a photo op, right? And <laughs> it's all about the photo op. It is, I hate to say it. And uh, got some beautiful pictures, and I'm going to see if I can go a little farther. I gave myself uh, probably another hour, and I'm taking it easy, and I'm trying to be safe. I say with another hour, you're going to get yourself to a nice lake setting. All right. Well, Amani, hey, thank you for sharing this with the world because you guys just take one step outside your door, turn off your cell phone, and you'll be blown away. That is some of the best advice I've heard in a week. <laughs> and I'll tell you right now, she's taking it nice and slow. She said all the right things. She's not pushing it. So thank you for sharing your experience with us and have a great day. All right. Be safe. Last time I was here, this creek was dry. I was here about four years ago. It's coming. It's good to see. It's nice and cool by this water. We're getting up here. I believe we're just about to the first lake. But so that I'd give you a glimpse of the trail. It's getting a little bit more interesting and I'm actually sweating a little bit. And uh, if you just follow the advice of the hiker I passed from Santa Ana, she just said, got the best advice, just take it slow. And this is a hike to Flower Lake that a wide range of hikers can easily do. So I say, if you're getting older and you have been reluctant to go backpacking or you or you have some kind of you have certain uh, limitations physically this could be something that you could manage if you get yourself in a little bit of shape and just really take your time so and here's we're almost to the lake I'm going to and you can still see the cars so I don't want you to think that this is any worse than than it is so the good thing about coming on a long trail like this is you run into interesting characters like this, who I believe is resupplying somebody. No, I'm getting, I'm picking up a resupply down at he's, he's picking up a resupply. Yeah. Tell us tell, who you are, where you're from, and what are you doing? Uh, I'm Joman from uh, San Jose. Um, just doing the John Muir Trail, JMT. Started in Yosemite uh, at Twalene Meadows. Headed down to Whitney and should be there in four days or so. Nice, nice. Yeah. That's an adventure. Oh yeah. Thank you for sharing that with us. Yep, you're welcome. It's been, it's been a blast, so highly nice. recommend it. Nice. So we got a nice waterfall coming out there. A nice little waterfall coming out there. I don't want to go out there and get a better shot of it just because I don't want to walk on that area out there. But as you can see, there's our first water. 
and there's actually a trail that goes down there and I could see a little fish rising so you know if you, if you were if you're staying in the campground right below you could come up here with the kids and some uh, worms some red worms and a little bobber and you could catch fish in here you know they'll be small but it'll be a good place because kids don't have a big attention span so when you take them fishing for that first time you want to go somewhere where they're going to catch a lot of fish and if you just get a little bobber and a tiny hook and some red worms you could come up here or flower lake and you can catch fish all day with the kids and they'll have a great time and that'll be a good introduction because if you take them to a place where the fish are a lot harder to catch it might turn them off to fishing in the outdoors so it's better to get them hooked on fishing with some real live action I met these ladies on the trail. They're <laughs> headed to, their names are? Hi, my name is Paris. And, uh, is, and I'm Taylor. And where are you from? We're from Oak Park, California. Cool. And where are you headed on this Kirsten Fast Trail? Ray Lakes. And how far is that? Tw about 12 miles away. That is a pretty good haul. <laughs> Have you been backpacking before? Yes, we just came out. We came from the Cottonwood Trails. Oh, cool. I and was we're, just there a couple weeks ago. Uh-huh. And we're hoping to hike the whole way to uh, Happy Isles in Yosemite, the JMT. Wow. So they, that's what I was talking about, how this trail is a gateway to a lot of places. They're right. going all the way to Yosemite. <laughs> They're not even at King's Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a long ways to go. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck, and I hope you see you. I hope you safe travels. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Okay, no problem. Thanks. So I've met a couple more people that are way more adventurous and energetic than I am. <laughs> and uh, your name is? Christina. And you're from? St. Paul, Minnesota. Wow, and where are you going? <laughs> Happy Isles is the final destination. And that is how far? Oh man, it's like a hundred and something. Shoot, 180 miles from here. You had know. me. You had me at 100. <laughs> <laughs> I think 100 says it all. And you can see these are some hardcore hikers. Your name yeah, is? I'm John. John. Yeah. He's from? I'm from Pennsylvania. Right on. Yeah. So we got people from across the country yeah. coming to California, seeing the best part of what's left of it, <laughs> and, and they're hiking hundreds of miles. So that gives that gives you an idea of the kind of people you're going to meet even on a day hike on Kearsage. Past, uh, trail because this play this trail goes everywhere well thank you for sharing your adventure with us That's and I pleasure. and I hope you safe travels and great adventure Thanks, thank you. Take care. That's cool the trails really getting into uh, some beautiful territory you can see these beautiful red tree trunks catching that morning sun so this is a short section but if you have knee issues or anything like that this is something you want to be aware of um, it's really flat it looks a lot worse than it is but if you're one step away from tearing that ACL or whatever you definitely want to go one step at a time as you can see you're gonna to have to get over a few things, but this isn't most of the trail. This is just the last little bit before we get to the first uh, substantial lake. I'm just coming up to the first lake. As you can see, like in a lot of the backpacking in the Eastern Sierras, no wood fires. So it's a stove situation. Um, and here's uh, Gilbert Lake. I'll get a better view of the lake up here in a minute but I just thought I'd film for a second because this is the first shade I've had and I'm really enjoying it so if you want to learn how to fly fish this is a great place to go it's only a mile and a half in from the trailhead you can see dozens of fish swimming around and you could get it you could find yourself a nice little rock the fish you catch are gonna be, you know, six to 10 inches. You get a 12 incher, that's a really good fish for a lake like this. Um, but the, the fish are plentiful and you'll get lots of strikes. 